Sorry guys, unfortunately, this is my last night here in Iceland. I've had the most amazing time of my life. I'm back in Reykjavik, uh, just here for a couple hours. Well, or until I get tired and gotta head back to my Airbnb back up in, I am going to try to pronounce it. I think it's Ray Jakinsbaugh. Uh, but I'm just walking down the street. I'm heading towards this restaurant and I'm gonna go out on a limb here. This place is supposed to serve horse meat, puffin, well meat, and there's something else. I get these four little samples of everything. About a tenth of a mile to walk. Done a lot, a lot of walking this trip. So this is nothing right now. The other day my legs were like barking at me. So I believe I have to head down here, make a right, and it should be right around here somewhere. You know, I just realized this little plaza over here, this is where I started the first night here. All right, so let's go for a little bit of walk, get some food. Probably just gonna spend another night walking around, exploring Reykjavik. Yeah. Man, I did not, do not, do not want this trip to end. Unfortunately, you know, all good things must come to an end. So right now we're just looking around, walking, exploring. That's one of the best things to do in your travel. Just see some new things. You know, then you got people that live here to see this stuff every day. It's no big deal to them. I think this menu might be what I was looking for. Yeah, four tasty small courses. Smoked puffin, meat well, flakaka. I have no idea what flakaka is. And the horse is just a para chew. Ignore the bird shit on the poster. A lot of beers. Fortunately, I'm not a beer drinker. All right, so let's go in. I have now, how you pronounce that? Say it as Finnin? Say it as Anyway, we're going here, give it a try, see what we think. It looks like the meat might have a lot of sauces on it. I'm not too crazy about the sauces. I think I'm gonna sit here outside. Hi, how are you? All right, guys, I'm here in the chef. No, I'm Server, a waiter. waiter. He's gonna explain to me what we have here. Okay, okay here. So this is the uh, horse carpaccio with yeah. rugula mayonnaise. Okay, you got horse. Parmatis, rucola, dates, and artichokes. Alrighty. This Moving is over. Smoked puffin, the famous one in Iceland, smoked with puffin. the Kroger liquor sauce, goat cheese, pickled onions on top. Okay. Next to that is the flat table. So the. It's the tradition about that is the bread underneath. There's like a flat bread that's a little sweet. On top of that is a little rucola and arti uh, uh, lightly cured arctic char. Alrighty. With cream cheese on top, lemon dill, and black burnt olives. It's the bur uh, burnt things on top. Alright. Minky whale with the celery puree underneath and a mock sauce on the side. Awesome. Alright, so welcome to it, sir. Thank you. Sorry, guys, you heard that. This is a. Uh definitely gonna be an experience for me but you know when you're out of the country hey try something new I might love this I might hate it I did really want to try this some horse meat so I'm gonna get into this and I'll let you guys know what I think Good. What's in that drink? So, the drink is mm -hmm. made from a gin called Himprimi. It's an Icelandic gin that has recently won several awards for best gin in London. Very good. Um, it comes also as blueberry liqueur from the 64 North distillery here in Iceland. Then it has lime juice, uh, simple sugar, or sorry, simple syrup, 
and Thai. Very good. I really, really like the whale. Well, that was very good. Thanks. Sorry guys, I'm still alive. I uh, had the horse meat, that was good. Puffin was really good. The uh, char was really good, but this well meat was off the hook. Um, I can't really describe the taste because everything tastes so different. The well kind of tastes like steak. Mm -hmm. Very juicy. You know, I'm the person I won't eat sushi, but char is really good. Already destroyed the puffin. No, it's just kind of hard to eat the puffin because they're such cute little birds. But they taste good. And we got the horse meat. It's kind of sliced like a little thin pepperoni. Alright guys, I did it. Came to Iceland and I ate a horse. Oh my god, I almost forgot about this bread. It's called flaca or something like that. Oh man, this is good. It's kind of like a sweet taste to it. Yeah, this is a, definitely a meal. And if you ever make it over here, try it. I know it's going to gross some people out eating horse and, and puffing. But where else can you do this? All right, I'm going to finish destroying this. And I'm going to go out and walk around, break a pick some more.